of the Signet WNBL collide at the State Basketball Centre as the Southside Flyers host the Bendigo Spirit. It's first versus third on the table as two of Victoria's best face off in the Hoops Capital. Head-to-head -head ramifications at play as round nine continues. Liam Ellison here alongside me is Olympian and world champion Jenny Screen. Jenny, welcome. This is going to be a ripper. Oh, it's going to be a ripper. It's been a, a few weeks of rippers, if you will, especially Liam, when we called the overtime game between Melbourne Boomers and the Adelaide Lightning just before Christmas. But Southside Flyers, make no mistake about it, they have started the new year 2023 on fire against Melbourne Boomers. Did they ever Wednesday night? 88-70 was the victory over the Boomers. And Sarah Blitzarves, what a performance. Uh, lights out Blitz, if you will. She was sensational from the tip-off. She spoke about how nervous she was about the game, the rivalry, the intensity. It was a sellout crowd at the boom box. I called this one. And she could not miss. She was 15 of 17 on the night. She was electric. No one could shut her, da shut her down. It wasn't a Southside win. It pretty much was a Sarah Blitzarves win. Unbelievable. Six of six from three. Perfect from the three throw line as well. What a shooting performance and no surprises. It is the highest single game score so far in this Signet WNBL season. Meanwhile, from the Bendigo Spirit point of view, they come in first on the table. Eight and one record. And last round, they defeated Adelaide 78-66 in their last outing. Jenny. They did. They're, they're still st first spot on the ladder with obviously that record 8-1 and one that you spoke about. But this potentially could be a final game, similar to what we saw between the Melbourne Boomers and Southside. Make no mistake about it, head-to-head, -head, these two met and Southside had the better of them in the last game. Certainly they could secure that head-to-head -head tiebreaker with a victory over Bendigo today. They wouldn't jump Melbourne with a win, but it would mean a very, very tight top three so, of course, Perth as well on the tail of the Townsville Fire. Something to watch there. But, Jenny, today it's the two best defences mm. in the league for points against. And that's exciting for Coach Cheryl Chambers because defence has not been at the forefront in the last couple of seasons for the Southside Flyers. They've had a lot of scoring potency uh, on the offensive end. But it's nice to see that they still have that and they've now been able to marry it with the defence. And what they did to the Melbourne Boomers the other night, and we see that through the likes of Maddie Rochi in the point guard spot. She is the head of the snake, if you will, in defense. She can play 94 feet and lock people down and then the rest follow. And don't let's not forget about the GOAT, Lauren Jackson. You get beaten uh, guarding your player. You know that you've got Lauren behind you as well. So it's nice to see that they can put a full kind of concept of a game together, not just one end to the other. Amy Rochi remains out of the lineup today for the Flyers. Other than that, though, close to full strength are the Southside Flyers. Let's look at the Bendigo lineup as well. Tessa Levy remains out, but they're going great guns, the Spirit, this season. They are. They've got a lot of vets and experience, a lot of uh, games played in the WNBL. We remember that when they met two rounds ago, Kelsey Griffin and Annalie Maley were held to their lowest scores and rebounding count of the season. And we know that Males and KG23 are in, in MVP form at the moment. So they'll be looking to amend that win, or that loss, rather. But for the Bendigo spirit they need to come out from the start 13 to 23 the last time they met in round seven so they've got to be locked in and no doubt kennedy has his girls ready to go 29 point loss it was last time these two teams met for the spirit so really it was a shock loss their first loss of the season and to do it in that fashion yeah absolutely and southside just shot the lights out they were 50 percent from field 57 from three they literally couldn't mess it was one of those games where you're just like what else can we do? The one thing that the Bendigo Spirit can do is that they can attempt to look after the ball a little bit better. They had 21 turnovers. Uh, that was plus five on what they averaged per the season. And that was capitalised by the Southside Flyers who had 21 points off those turnovers. You spoke of the Spirit being kept off the glass in that ball game. Adelie Maley, the eight rebounds for the league leading rebounder. Bounced back last week, 24 oh. points. Equal career high. Oh, mate, she's a ball magnet. She's sensational. And then that's what caliber players do, quality stars. They bounce back when they have disappointing games. And no bounce, she 
will want to do the best she can for her team tonight. Watch out for the matchup potentially between her and Blitzarves as well, or, or maybe Kayla Thornton might get the job there. But hey, we've got a ball game. This potentially could be finals action. It's going to be physical. It's going to be intense. And uh, I'm really looking forward to Liam. It's a Friday night blockbuster here at the State Basketball Centre. It is going to be Jackson to contest the tip in front of her home fans here. First versus third on the table, and the Flyers win it down. Nicole and Matty Rochi now will set the action for the Flyers. Here's Thornton leading the team and scoring this season. Down low to Jackson, working on the low block into the corner. Cole, travel call. Bendigo ball in their away whites today. Griffin gets it into Wilson. She had nine dimes last outing in that win over the Lightning. Wanting the handoff. Finds Maley. Here's Ali Wilson. Southside defense holding up here. Pulls up from the free throw line. Wilson. First bucket for Bendigo. Simple execution there, miscommunication potentially or a lapse on the defensive end for the Southside Flyers on that pick and roll. We saw it was a little bit of an issue against the Melbourne Boomers on Wednesday night, but they tidied it up as the game went on. But nice start to the game for Bendigo to silence the crowd. Rochi fouled by Wilson there. Restart on the inbound. Bendigo pressing up. Find it in to Cole. Kayla Thornton. Going great guns early days here in this Signet WNBL season. Hand off to Blitzarves. Now Jackson backing down Froling. Hits back high and falls home. Well, when you've played as long as she has, you're going to get a shooter's roll from time to time. And that's a, a beautiful finish there from Lauren Jackson to start. The points on the board for the Southside Flyers. 20 points, 13 rebounds last time these two teams met. There's Maley mid-range too. She was the player of the week last week. Annalie Maley in that bounce-back performance. Rochi puts it on the deck, flips it up, no good off the window. And Griffin corrals it. Griffin finds her point guard in Wilson. Hand off to Ali Wilson. Rollings there with a the pick. Runs into the brick wall of Jackson. Jump ball. And it's going to favour. I believe the Bendigo spirit. You know, the last time that these two teams met, uh, Southside had almost not a chip on their shoulder, but they were determined to come out and beat Bendigo. There was a lot of talk about Bendigo with the 7-0 streak that they had to start the season, and they wanted to prove to the league and to the fans and everyone out there watching the WNBL that, hey, let's not forget about us. And they did such a sensational job, and they've continued that, especially with their win against Melbourne Boomers on Wednesday. Nice move from Thornton. And it was a somewhat up-and-down start for this Southside team, but winners of their last four in a row... The win over Bendigo, as we spoke of, but then Melbourne as well on Wednesday night. So really hitting their straps now. Yeah, they are. And, and we've got to remember at the start of the season, uh, you had Blitzards, you had Lauren Jackson, and, and you also had uh, Cheryl Chambers all involved in the World Cup. So there's going to be a bit of fatigue post that kind of tournament. And then obviously it takes a little bit of while for the team to gel. Kayla Thornton, a new import, and boy, isn't she having a great season as well, averaging the 15 and 16 rebounds, not to mention the little bit over two and a half assists. Inside to Wilson, draws contacts. So Ali Wilson will head to the charity stripe. 11 points per game this season. Shooting a 64% clip from the line. Looks to be on Cole. A little short on the first. Wilson splits a pair. Straight away into Rochi. And poked out by Kelly Wilson. Back we're headed the other way. It's going to be Bendigo ball. So that early pressure. Creating opportunities. Fresh 14, the spirit. Rochi pokes it out. 
Could it be a great matchup today between Kelly Wilson and Matty Rochi? Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth there. Anyone watching at home, number 22 and number 9. The two in the, with the ball right now as we see a steal from Matty Rochi. Rochi causing trouble straight to the rack. Falls home. Great reward there for effort from Matty Rochi. Was able to turn the tide there. She was forced into a turnover. Just one passage for play before. Locked in and, and got it back for a team and finished with the points. Griffin driving left. Blitzarves is there to slow her up. Foul call, says the referee. Griffin comes in. Top 10 in the league in scoring, sitting at sixth. 17 and a half a night. Another great season in a return to Bendigo. Wilson to inbound for the Spirit. Here's Kelly Wilson. Maley, single digit shot clock, long range two. Back iron and Matty Rochi's there. Assessing her options forward. Jackson transition three. There was no doubt that that was going up. You could see Lauren just setting as she was running down the court over halfway. No one was defending her, which is a surprise and probably a lack of scout there. Understanding and awareness, rather. And Lauren doing LJ things, draining the three. And the first three of the evening goes. Wilson goes herself. That's a deep triple. Hits back iron. Rochi crashes in. And it means Bendigo ball. Perhaps spoiled her own teammate. Ellie Wilson again will set for the Spirit. Travelling down the highway today. Finds Maley wide open. Walters into the keyway for two. Four minutes gone, first quarter. Down low to Jackson. Froling's there defending. Fading away, just a little short. Potch though, spikes it back out to Cole. So Southside will reset via Thornton. She was, she was tough the other night against the Melbourne Boomers, led from the front and... Woo. Thornton with the steal. She can go herself for a transition to Flyers on fire. Don't you just love to see that energy from the WNBL players getting the crowd up and about? Already a crowd favourite here at the State Basketball Centre, Wilson. Got it across to Froling. Jackson slows her up, shots up. She'll have to earn them at the three throw line. So Alicia Froling averaging 11 points per game this season. Have a look here. Beautiful athleticism from Thornton. And then celebration. Getting her teammates up and about after that one. Froling's got a tough, tough task tonight defensively. Looking after. The GOAT, Lauren Jackson, as we see Abby Bishop injecting herself into the game, giving LJ a break. She's been valuable pick-up, Abby Bishop, for the Southside Flyers in the last two seasons, obviously hampered with injury towards the back end of last year, but caliber player, Olympian, been in the league a long time, championship player as well, and whilst statistically speaking on her career terms and st stat she's down but what she brings is something different and Alicia Froling she's also enjoying the opportunity of playing under coach Kennedy Kariyama this season at the Bendigo Spirit possibly a career best season for the 26 year old Alicia Froling 11 and 5 a night all above her career averages and forged out a nice role in the starting lineup for this team Good on the second. So substitutions will take effect. Froling takes a spell. Into Conti. Since returning to the WNBL, leading the league in assist to turnover ratio with four. Potch just keeps it in. Rochi for three. Another one goes for the Flyers. And you saw Kayla Thornton put a hand in the air and told Maddie Rochi to shoot that ball. She was there for the rebounds. And that's the thing about this Southside Flyers team. They can score from many positions on the court. They had six plays and double figures the other night against the Melbourne Boomers. Conti. So now three of three. Early days here from deep of the Flyers. Potch slowed up by Griffin. Travel court. And as we touched on in the pregame, it was 15 triples. The last time these two met, which saw the Flyers prevail by 29. 
Wilson. Running the offense for Bendigo. Second in league assists this season. Abby Weron off the pine today. Foul call as Rochi hits the deck. First personal for her. Blitzarves and Jackson with two apiece, though. Abby Weron to the free throw line, shooting 83% on the season. She's had a bit of up and down season thus far. She's just returned recently from, I think, um, abscess in her mouth. And then she's had injuries towards the start of the season and well. So she hasn't got the consistency and continuity of games under her belt, but still a valuable member and a, a great choice for Kennedy Periyama to look down his bench and be able to inject someone like her onto the court. Coming off the bench as she re-enters the lineup, starting in five of the last six, Abby Weron. Coming into today, here's Maley. Down low, Megan McKay has got position. And that's what Megzi does well. She's a big, strong body in this league, and she knows where she belongs, and it's inside the paint, using her body to her advantage and coming out with points like that. Watch spinning on Maley. Great move. Back out to a four-point ball game. Wilson into the front court. Potch up there on Maley. She takes her off the dribble. Great move, Adelie Maley. Reigning MVP, just seeing the advantage against the 18-year-old Nadio Potch. One area of her game that she's going to have to add and get better to her is the ability to play defense both on the ball and off the ball in the years to come. It's a deep triple from Rochi. Bishop was boxed out nicely by McKay. Wilson assessing the traffic. Down low to McKay. Bishop defending nice off the window. And McKay again, with her second bucket of the day. And again, Bendigo Spirit going back to the well. And all tied up here. Seven minutes gone on this first quarter. Rochi, nice pass to Thornton. Just couldn't convert. Griffin finds her way out of trouble. Extra pass. Corner three for Werung. Hits the side of the glass. Rochi, can she launch into an offensive? Conti. Triple, nothing but nylon. Southside retake the lead. Wilson, oh, must keeps it in bounds. Flyers so close to forcing a turnover. Well, Conti was just tough right then, and that's probably from playing the AFLW. Stood her, her ground, getting that screen in the back court as she was defending the point guard, but. Great three from her. We know she loves to get out and fly the wings and can release. But have a look here. Bang. Not even aware. And that's a nasty screen to run into. And whoever her teammate is, hopefully they speak a little louder next time because that's one screen that is hard on players, especially in the backcourt when you're running in one direction and have no visualization about what's coming, especially when it's stationary. Certainly did not look phased. Wilson goes two from two. It's been a nice little comeback from the spirit. A little bit of a run here. All the momentum with the flies has had all the momentum has been with the flies in the opening seven minutes of this contest. So nice job from Benigo Spirit to weather the storm considering in round seven they only scored the 13 points against the South Side in the opening quarter. Conti. Bishop working hard to get open. Hands it back to her point guard. Conti through the key weight, runs into Ali Wilson. They've turned it straight over Rochi. Draws the foul. So Matty Rocci to the line. Benigo Spirit did a great job there. What they unfortunately should have happened, they defended the ball really well. But if you can't secure it when it's going out of court, just let the ball go out of court. Uh, a coach's worst nightmare is when you throw back in in the defensive end and then the, the opponents come up with it in an advantageous position like the Southside Flyers did. First trip as a team to the line today. And a high-scoring opening as well to this ball game, Jenny. Both teams shooting above 60% from the field. 
Mochi goes two from two. We're on. With the rock for Bendigo. Has Megan McKay there for the screen. Finds her way down the lane. Too strong on the floater. Conti. Thornton's there. Posting up on Frolink. Tries to take her baseline. Spinning. Stepping through. What a move. Kayla Thornton has this place fired up at the State Basketball Centre. Great finish. I want to see more of them because I'm enjoying her celebrations after she's finding the bottom of the net for the Southside Flyers. How interesting. Lauren Jackson, as we hear the, see the replay, Alicia Froling did a great job, walled up well, but Kayla Thornton had better ideas, finding a gap against the Bendigo Spirit defence there. And how is it that Lauren Jackson, who's averaging a touch over 14 points a game, and Sarah Blitzhards, who had a night out with 41 on Wednesday, both sit with two, and yet the Flyers lead with 26. And a love scale on the left hands. Nice move. Excuse me, that was Micah Simpson for the Spirit. Poch. Has Conti on the left wing. Mid-range two. Top of the keyway. Couldn't quite chase it down. So stays with the Flyers. Some of their bench unit here for Cheryl Chambers' team into Nadia Poch. Cole hesitates, driving on. Where on good defense? The Lions will have eight seconds to work with. And that is really good defense there. Beck Cole having that nice little curl cut there. Last to go right, so it was good to see that they didn't let it come back to her right hand and kept her on the left hand side. Reset here, eight seconds on the shot clock. Poch out to Conti. 90 seconds before the first break. Hops against the Bishop's screen. Thought about the triple. Got to go. Mid-range two. And draws contact. Last gasp. Foul for the Flyers. Nice little up fake there from Abby Bishop. Just getting Alicia Froling out of her stance a little bit. And then Froling just bailing her out at the end there. Mid-range jumpers. Probably on Ab Abby Bishop's forte or or money, if you will. She's more of a catch and three and a pick and pop type of player, but the battled out there at the end and finds herself at the line. Good on the first. And Bishop goes two from two. Here's Simpson. Griffin hands it back to her point guard. Conti there providing pressure and comes up with a steal. Last few minutes from her. Thornton has nine points already. Maley strong on the glass as always. Draws contact. That's the first personal on Beck Cole. First rebound of the contest for Annalie Maley. To 24 last week. And she will walk down the other end for three throws. Seventy-three percent shooter on the season from the line. To bring it back to a one-possession ball game, and she does just that. Into Conti. Cole on the wing. Thornton really wasn't prepared. Takes it anyway. She's always prepared. Kayla Thornton, the first player into double figures in this contest. Just Kayla Thornton getting Kelsey Griffin out of position there. Not really ready for that pass. And KG23 will be frustrated with that one when she knows she's better. But love on the flex. Put that on a poster, shall we? For the WNBL. Five of seven from the field. Strong inside the keyway. And she converts on the continuation free throw. The team leads by six. Early days, but this has lived up to the billing so far for your Friday night blockbuster. The Signet WNBL, Maitley cutting hard. And she'll go to the line. Infringed on the layup. A lot of calls aren't going the Southside Flyers' way. 
They've got seven personal fouls to three in this opening quarter against the Bendigo Spirit. But Bendigo are just hanging around. They're getting the ball through hands, which is really good because in the first time when they met in round seven, Southside were up and in in their grill. They got stagnant. They couldn't move the ball. Their player movement options weren't available either. So it's nice to see that they've adjusted to that. And they're also getting the ball to the people that should have it. Mailey, Griffin and the like. Takes care of business from the charity stripe. Wilson. Defending Cole. Gets it over. Conti calling the shots. Potch comes out to the corner. Here's Cole. Has the screen from Bishop. Five seconds. Got to make her move. Kayla Thornton willing to shoot. Back iron. And Bendigo let it fall out of bounds. So 19 seconds, shot clock off for the Spirit. You have a good look here, winding down the shot clock, end with momentum heading into the second. Flyers are in foul trouble as well, so if you're Bendigo, no better option right now than to penetrate and get the rest to call a foul and send yourself to the foul line. Rolling. And off to Wilson. Six seconds down low. Froling got position on Poch. Travel. Poch with the stop for Southside. And they'll have 3.8 to work with. Froling appeared in the perfect position to convert the two into Conti. Last second heave, maybe. Kayla Thornton throws it up. Deep triple. Nearly went. <laughs> what an opening to this ball game. It's been 31-27. High scoring hoops. Kayla Thornton on fire. Jenny screen. She is. Imagine that had gone down. We would have had probably a celebration running around the court. But credit to the Flyers. They've come out with a punch and spirit. Although they were down by six or seven in the midst of that first quarter, they just were able to rally, stay around long enough, especially with Sarah Blitzards and Lauren Jackson having to sit in that opening turn with two fouls. But hey, it was lights out for the Southside Flyers in that opening quarter, shooting a rapid four of six, 66% from deep. We saw that against the Melbourne Boomers on Wednesday night, finishing at 56%. They're second in the league for that three-point shooting as well. But Kayla Thorne, she's doing the damage for me. She got 12 points on an efficient 5 of 8 for the Southside Flyers. And then on the flip side, the Bendigo Spirit have come through the hands of Maylie. She's got 10, which doesn't seem like a big 10. She's only taken the four shots, but shooting in a nice clip. Griffin held to zero at the moment, but it's uh, it's been a kind of a team effort. And then Megan McKay, she added some punch off the bench with those two quick buckets under the rim. Has been somewhat of a subtle 10. And well, I mean, when teams are shooting at this clip, not many rebounds to go around. But for, you know, the most part, the Spirit have been kept off the glass a little bit again. Yeah, the uh, Southside Flyers have done a really good job. And in the games that they've won since before and after Christmas, um, they've actually... Heave right at the buzzer. You just think everything that leaves a hand at the moment is going in the way she's playing. 12 points leads all scorers. Jackson with five as well. And Maddie Rocci with seven. No surprises. She's been in the thick of it three times, causing issues defensively. Well, Cheryl Chambers is, is being brave here. She's put Sarah Blitzarves and Lauren Jackson back out on the court with the two fouls. Now, if I'm Benigo Spirit and Coach Kenny, Kennedy Kerryama, I'm putting them in some kind of action on the defensive end to try and draw their third foul and have to force Cheryl's hand and put them to the bench. But in saying that, they're both caliber players. They've both been around a long time, and hopefully they'll be able to not force a foul and keep themselves on the court. So turnover, Bendigo ball. As both sides go with their starters to start the second. Good atmosphere here this evening at the State Basketball Centre. Griffin has Wilson on the wing. Now Ali Wilson. Griffin rolling to the hoop. Nice fine, nice finish. Griffin for two. 
Back to a two-point ball game. Rochi finds Thornton. You suspect they'll be going through her a lot this evening. Rochi steps back for three. Fifth triple for Southside. She is finding some form in the middle of this season right now. Started a little bit slow, and obviously with so much scoring punch from a lot of other areas, she's had to shift into being more of a true point guard and, and being a facilitator. But Roshi's fine. The bottom of the net in this one tonight, shooting a great clip. That's her second three of the night. Up to ten points. Maley looks to return fire. Blitzarves is there. Here's Matty Rocci. 13 points, five assists per game this season. Thornton at the perimeter. Jackson, there's the third personal, like you were speaking of, Jenny. And you saw Cheryl Chambers just almost collapse to the floor, drop ahead. Lauren Jackson knows that's her third. Now, here's the challenge. Does Cheryl leave her out there? Probably a foul that wouldn't have been called the other night against the Melbourne Boomers. That was a physical contest. But just right in front of the referee, Alicia Froling did a great job there just to make it aware to the referees. So she'll opt to trust Jackson. Budgeting the three. Maley, hand off to Griffin. Blitzarves is there, but Griffin on the follow. Keeps the basketball for Bendigo. Four seconds, fade away. Froling again. And she runs out of real estate. Well, I really hope the Bendigo Spirit are aware that Lauren Jackson has the three fouls because you've got to put her in the pick and roll in defense. You've got to actually potentially run an ISO play, draw her out to the three-point line, rip and go and penetrate on her. Right now, they're not taking advantage of putting her under pressure. Rochi. Blitzarves. Defended by Maley. Cole. Now Blitzarves retrieves it. Wilson switches on to Hurt, tries to take her off the dribble. Rochi again for three. Everything is falling for the Flyers. Give the girl the ball. She is electric tonight. Following on from her teammate Sarah Blitzarves, who had 41 the other night, as we see Rochi doing Rochi things, scoring at one end and then locking down defensively and we know that's her bread and butter she likes to get up and in she likes to play the physical game she likes to make other players feel uncomfortable and breathe down their neck she does a great job at that but it's nice to see both ends of the floor marrying up for her tonight and she's having this exceptional opening half certainly is and an exceptional opening to this second quarter looked a little sore on the lower back well she took a heavy knock on the Wednesday night hit the the end component of the the basket if you will and and was down for a little while she's a tough one though tough as they come here's Cole driving on Wilson pulls up for two Maley snatches it down she'll just turn and go what's ahead of it Jackson's there pulls up for the baby three throw line Great easy option there from Annalie Maley set up from Al Alicia Froling in fact she just took up space and had Lauren Jackson in the seal there, and she wasn't able to get a hand to it. Rochi provides the pick for Cole, as does Jackson. Rochi wide open. She'll just turn and go again. Oh, yes. Four three for Matty Rochi. And when she's given that much space, they'll have to chat things over in a timeout. Nine point ball game, Jenny Screen. Oh, how's the luxury, though, that when you've got someone like Lauren Jackson? who's cutting there, if we were to see that one on the replay. She's cutting. She draws and drags the attention away from Maddie Rochi, which then just leaves her wide open. Easy, simple basketball. You see Lauren talking to her now. Let's keep doing that. Keep finding you. Let's go to you. Let's go to you, just like we did with the other night. This timeout brought to you by CTM Sport. If you're considering travelling interstate with your basketball team, consider CTM Sport for a competitive and customised travel solution that puts your team on top. Visit ctmsport.com.au to learn more. And with that three ball for Matty Rochi, she is now the game's leading scorer with 16 points. Four of five from three. Three dimes a steal as well. Drawn four fouls in the ball game. Some performance here, early days. Yeah. Southside Flyers are shooting in a beautiful clip. 58 from the field and 
77, seven of nine from the three-point line. Bendigo Spirit have got to do a better job picking up players in defensive transition, locking them down, but then also running them off the three-point line. Try and make them put the ball to the floor, get your rotations right, because we know Southside Flyers, sorry, the, the Bendigo Spirit actually a really good defensive team. They hold most teams to 71 points a game. That's the highest in the league. And right now, the Flyers are well on their way to uh, destroying that margin. Wilson starts the possession for Bendigo. Ali Wilson, top of the perimeter, gets past Cole, extra pass, finds Froling. And that's just smart, you know, drawing Lauren Jackson there. She couldn't contest that. She knows she's on the three fouls, and, and the Bendigo Spirit just found the dump down, an easy finish under the rim. Blitzarves, back to Rochi. She's got the hot hand. Lauren Jackson for three. Eight of ten from three of the Flyers. Liam, everyone has the hot hand for the Southside Flyers right now. Ten-point ball game. Hand off to Maley. Rochi's there. She'll turn and fire. And Maley for two. That's a tough shot. Fading away from the bucket. Going the opposite direction and draining it. Annalie Maley there. Rochi and Jackson combined. Thought about the triple. Driving on Wilson. And has to back it out. Blitzarfs. She'll turn and fire. And Griffin. Unforced error. So Werung and Bishop will check in. A rare miscue from the two Bendigo stars. Trying to stem the onslaught at the moment of the Spirit. Still just an eight-point ball game. Thornton takes a break. Rochi. Now Bishop, Kelsey Griffin, though, saw better of it. Picks it off. Transition to The second in the league behind Southside Flyers and steals per game with 8.8. .8. That just shows how disruptive they can be. But where they've got to be disruptive is right now in the quarter court here in this defensive set. Nice pass. Blitzarves missing on the lay-in. And the foul call to boot. Beautiful cut there. Just didn't get the reward with the two points. Ali Wilson just falling asleep and the rest of the Bendigo Spirit falling asleep on the weak side as we saw Sarah Blitzarves with that cut. Into Wilson. Griffin with the steal and two on the last possessions. He leads the league in steals per game with three per contest. Wilson runs straight into Rochi. Cole with the basketball. Bendigo get back in deep. Litzars wide open for two. Bishop on the follow. Rochi thought about the triple. She drives on Wilson. And that'll be against Ali Wilson. Well, if you're Maddie Rochi, you forgive her for letting it fly considering the way that she's shooting at the moment. But that's a point guard right there. She knew where the contest was at. They needed a, a slow push out. They've been up and down for a little bit in the last couple of minutes. And then she was able to draw another foul. Five fouls drawn from Maddie Rochi. Down the other end, though, Bendigo Spirit needs to get the ball through hands. Player movement, ball movements, just getting a little bit stagnant at the moment with only the eight assists for the team. So Sarah Blitzarf checks out with three personals. Jackson remains out there. Bishop. Down low to Jackson. Clinical. Jackson with the fadeaway too. She's into double figures. We're on. We're on straight into Rochi. And that's going to be on Maddie Rochi. Did not have her feet set. Second personal. Rochi loves to put about a body on the line. Always will for the Southside Flyers. If you're Southside Flyers right now, as we miss the action there, but you saw the, the aftermath of the play. But if you're the Bendigo Spirit, rather, Got to go at Jackson. She's got three fouls right now, and they just haven't exploited that opportunity. See if they can do so here. We're on. Into Wilson. Retrieves it back. Mon Conti inserted into the fray. We're on. Drives straight at Conti. So two shots for Abby We're on. 
And that's a good option because you either put Lauren Jackson in a pick and roll setting and have have to play in that defensively, or you have her as the rotating, rotating big in the defense there. And what happened, Abby Wehrung was able to get to the rim because Lauren can't, well, she can come across and contest it, but she's got to be careful that she doesn't get that fourth foul. So Wehrung, one to come. Six minutes gone in this second quarter. Makes on the second. Substitutions. As Griffin takes a break. Into Cole. And Conti retrieves it. Has Jackson on the low block. Maley comes across the double. Good contest from the Spirit. Poch nearly pulled it down. Wehrung running the break. Bishop rolling in the world of space. Hands it to her point guard. Wants the handoff to Maley. Ops against it. Bishop and Froling. Couldn't go on the hook shot. Now Cole in transition. Has Poch to her left. She'll fire for three. Continues to drop. She joins the party from the three-point line for the south side flies. Knocking that one down. It's pretty much deja vu from round seven where they shot 57% from the three-point line as we see a Conti up and in and a steal and finish. And a forced timeout here with back-to-back -back baskets and five points on the fly. Cheryl Chambers would be thrilled with how her team has performed, especially in this second quarter. She'd be through with her defense, Liam. That's where all this momentum has come from, the offensive end. Something that's been lacking last year, the year before that, they weren't renowned for it or they didn't care about it and didn't have the effort behind it. But right now, they're locked in and they're playing sensational basketball. It's time out brought to you by Signet, our major partners here at the WNBL, to stay in sync with the latest WNBL news and social highlights going into the new year. Head over to Signet for their New Year's sale to keep your gadgets charged up at home or on the go. A huge thanks to Signet for powering the WNBL with high-quality tech. Explore their range at Signet.com. So an 11-point ball game favouring the home side, shooting 56% from the field, 75% from three. Bendigo, meanwhile, 61% themselves, Jenny. But a few turnovers has been an issue. It's been a beautiful spectacle in terms of shooting. And I think the league in general for this season thus far has just been exceptional in terms of the offensive output. Southside Flyers, for me, are leading the league in terms of defence. They're first in steals. They hold teams to 74 points per game. They're well on target there with the spirit here at the moment with just a touch over three minutes to go. But right now, they're on the mark to hit the century. If Bendigo Spirit don't do anything about it. We're on. Tried to find Maley. Another stop for the Flyers. As Carly Ernst sees her minutes at the contest. First minutes. And that's probably the biggest advantage for the Southside Flyers in comparison to a lot of the teams in the league is their depth. Their depth in bench that you've got someone like Carly Ernst who's been in the league for over 10 years uh, playing for you. You've got Monique Conti uh, who's played for Australia at junior level, AFLW MVP as well, coming off the bench and giving Rochi some valuable minutes on the bench as we see a turnover there. Wilson, nice pass to McKay. Down the lane, Ernst denies. Stays Bendigo ball. Would have loved seeing Kelly Wilson just pull this one out a little bit. Megan McKay off the dribble, front to bucket, isn't her potency. Pull it out to the wing, let her set up back to bucket and take Carly off, off the bounce there. Wilson, down low to McKay, has position. Nice pump fake, but misses. Rollings there on the follow. McKay on the low block, here's Kelly Wilson. Rolling again, returns for the pick. Driving on Conti, tough take. Look up in the dictionary persistence and you'll see Kelly Wilson right there on that penetration. Wore the, wore the D of Conti like a T-shirt, but was able to find the bottom of the net as well. We're on, ties up Ernst. Jump ball, says the referee. And the possession arrow favours the Bendigo spirit. 
Four of their five on the court right now. The Flyers off the bench to highlight the depth that you mentioned, Jenny. And here's Kelly Wilson. Conti, that's a foul call. So her third personal on Conti. Another flyer in some foul trouble here. Just the reach in at the end. So they're in the bonus, Spendigo. And that's what they've got to do in the last two minutes is make them pay the Southside Flyers for being in bonus. Every time they draw a foul now, they're going to the foul line, and that's one way to claw back the deficit. Get stops on the defensive end, come down offensively, get some pick-and-roll action, get some weak side action, weak side cuts, some penetration, draw some more fouls, and get yourself to the foul line. Well, they've been mighty efficient as well. Now 15 of 16 on the game. Rochi back out there, as is Kelsey Griffin. Tries to muscle it out of Rochi's hands. Ball from the referee, we'll see Flyers ball. Rochi back out there with the 16 points. The game's leading scorer. Two minutes remaining before the main break in this Friday night blockbuster. First versus third on the Signet WNBL table. Big Cole. With the basketball for Southside. So Rochi to reset. Thornton as well has re-entered the ball game. Ernst finds Thornton, cutting to the hoop on the left hand. She is loving every minute of her moments in a Southside uniform. Wilson poked out. She recovers. Now we're on off the dribble. Plenty of space to fire, rattles out. Frolling extra possession. Maley will call the shots. Driving down the keyway. And last touch, Bendigo. Nine point ball game. Thornton into Cole. Can they extend this lead going into the halftime break? Ernst finds Thornton. Cole's got space to fire. A little short. Long rebound favours the Flyers. Wanted the cut from Ernst. She gets it inside the painted area. Nice move. Carly Ernst there. Not known for her back-to-buckets moves. Loves to pick and pop and shoot the three, but thought better of it with the use of her length there going up Alicia Froling. Her first points of the contest, Carly Ernst. Now Maley puts it on the deck, pulls up from the elbow. Rochi's there. She'll turn and go. What's ahead for the Flyers? Potch working hard. Cole. Griffin came across, desperately trying to deny the Thornton catch. Flyers ball with a shot clock reset. Frustrating couple of minutes here for the Bendigo Spirit. Not being able to capitalise on the Flyers being in the bonus. Since that Kelly Wilson foul shot, they haven't had a look. They've had a turnover, a couple of turnovers. They did have an offensive rebound, but weren't able to make anything of it. In the comparison, the Southside Flyers continue to put points on the board. They continue to get out and run in transition. And they just look unstoppable right now. Playing some very attractive basketball. The Cheryl Chambers team, Thornton, goes two from two to bring her tally even with Rochi at 16 apiece. Wilson. Griffin. No look pass. Didn't pay off. Here's Potch. Hesitates. Off the window, no good. Now Wilson. Can Bendigo slingshot? She'll slow it up for the last shot. Froling's there. Five seconds. Maley going the other way. Offensive foul. Second on Maley. 
Southside Flyers, whilst they're dominating on the offensive end, they're also dominating on the defensive end. They're taking the Bendigo spirit out of what they do, what they know. They're making them find other options and counters. As we see, Caitlin Thornton knocking down the three. My goodness, Kayla Thornton, the last second heave, tied tight to the sideline, and she makes it. Really, it sums it up for the Flyers. They've been on fire from three. That's 10 of 14 from long range to shock the State Basketball Centre. And it is a 15-point ball game. They are flexing their muscle at the moment, Jenny Screen. Wow, and that just hurts right there. Sarah Blitzarp drawing the D. Maddie Rochi, she has been dominant from the get-go with the 16 points, five of seven. They've been colossal. mailey has been dominating or battling hard in the deficit with the 14 points. A couple of rebounds. They've done a great job to keep her off the offensive glass. Zero for the opening half. Watch out for her to increase that stat category in the second half. But it's been lights out for the Southside Flyers. 10 of 14 from the three-point line. And that has been the story, Liam Ellison, in the opening half of this basketball game. They have been mighty impressive, the Flyers. 15-point ball game. Bendigo, not out of it yet. The latter leaders, their sole loss of the season coming against this very Flyers lineup. It looks like more of the same at the moment. We will see after this break. Stick around. Second half, not far away in the Signet WNBL. and keeps it alive. Shot clock. Swain for three. <laughs> Here's Melbourne. And out to Swain. Steps back for the three ball. Feeling it. Swain from downtown. Unbelievable from Swain. Eel with the steal and the finish. Been an impressive performance from the Sydney Flames. They notch off their third win of the season. First time this season with back-to-back -back wins. Nice pass, blitz arms to the rack. Chalks up game 250 here this evening at the State Basketball Centre. Blitz arms in the corner. Little strong, Rochi again on the O glass. Hands it back to Blitz arms. But what a great finish. Nice finish, step back by Sarah Blitz arms. So the Dota who loses it. Shot clock down to two. Wallace just has to pull the trigger and does so successfully. That is clutch. Mitchell dumps it to good Charles. And she's into the game, Mila Goodchild. It's the handle, the boomers draw level or take the lead here. Mitchell, fronted by two players. A oh, great pass to Nelson Adona. Good start there for Emily Mailey. Mailey somehow comes up with it and finishes. Extraordinary. Back to Kelly and now Mailey. Three seconds left on the clock, so she puts it up herself, and why not? Having a night is Annalie Maley. Prepare your taste buds. Hungry? Famished. For six delicious nights on nine. Yeah, to replicate the snack. Australia's best chefs. I love pizza. Head to head, recreating our most iconic snacks. I think I stuffed this up. <laughs> Get it together, I know you've got this. It looks like salt and pepper calamari. <laughs> New Snack Masters. Stream the latest episodes on Nine Now. You know what they don't teach MPI schools how to get the money shot. The undercover. What are you doing? That is how you get the money shot. Cracking cases. Nothing says I'm stalking you like a hidden camera. The old-fashioned way. Jason oh. Priestley. Are you nuts? It's a rental. Private Eyes. Stream complete seasons on Nine Now. Do not underestimate the power of a good blind. Take this exhausted couch. Now it stands before you. Mm, magnifique. Even this cocktail of dead skin is gracefully waltzing. 
DIY blinds change the ugly. From Australia, the nasty coconut is Andy Can the bromance reignite? The show must go on. Summer's greatest epic is coming. So, baby, in 90 days, we're going to be husband and wife. I was with her for five days, and then I proposed to her. She's so eager to be in love, she lets red flags just go. People say, 19-year-old, she's just using you. Maybe she could be. 90 Day Fiance. Get your summer streaming on Nine Now. Hi, Hoopers. I'm Tess Madgen. I'm so excited to be offering virtual masterclasses this school holidays with She Hoops. Starting on the 9th of January at 5.30pm every Monday night, in this five-week series, we will be delivering a range of basketball skills. I will also take you through a number of mobility skills designed to keep your body active and engaged. And the best part is that it's free. Go to shehoops.com.au to register now and secure your spot. Expect the unexpected. It's summer's greatest show. Best point of the match. And he is the greatest showman. The Aussie Assault. This one is for country. Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats. The truth is, you're always better off with a really good lie. Pretty Little Liars. Get your summer streaming on Nine Now. It's the biggest WNBL season yet, and superstar Lauren Jackson returns. Turn it up. Don't miss a block, basket, or game winner. Just don't steal the win. WNBL, live on 9 now. Looking for something to keep the kids entertained these school holidays? Come and watch Australia's elite female basketballers in action as they battle it out for championship glory in the Sydney WNBL. Good! That's a good job. Tickets available now. To book your seat, visit WNBL.basketball. Every girl's got to have a hobby. Veronica, why does trouble follow you around? Veronica Mars, get your summer streaming on Nine Now. For over a century, I have lived in secret until now. What are you? The Vampire Diaries. Get your summer streaming on Nine Now.
Hello and welcome back to the State Basketball Centre here for this matchup between the Southside Flyers and the Bendigo Spirits. 16 point ball game. Liam Ellison here alongside me is Jenny Screen. We knew it was going to be a good evening of hoops, Jenny, but this really, we couldn't have expected this, could we? No, not, well, no, not shooting the clip that the Southside Flyers here. Have a look. The one line that you have to peel, put your eyes on is the three point shooting percentage from the Southside Flyers. That is the differential between the game 10 of 14, 71%. They have been lights out. Many, I think six players have joined the party from the three point line, and it has just been enjoyable to watch for the Southside Flyers. Bendigo Spirit, they did get within. Four points, or six points rather, and, uh, with four minutes to go in that second. And then it went to a 13 to four run to wind out, or wind down rather, that last second bit of the second quarter. So far it has been remarkably similar to the last time that these two teams met. 29 point margin, 15 free. Somehow Southside are on track to best that figure. Good challenge here for Bendigo Spirit in this second half to show what they're made of here at the State Basketball Centre. They are number one on the ladder in the WNBL and head to head, though the Southside Flyers have the margin at the moment. Watchy with a miss from three there. Maley will bring it up for the Spirit. Wilson hands it off to Ali Wilson. Driving in the key weight. Loses Blitzard, gets a shot away. Ali Wilson with the bucket. That's her first field goal. Cole at the three throw line. Jackson and Blitzarves have three personals each. Pulls up. We have to register a bucket so far in this contest after 41 on Wednesday night. Sarah Blitzarves. Maley. Now long range two. Hits the back heel. Ali Wilson, long rebound. Could have been the perfect start for Bendigo. Rochi. What an opening to her first half as well, Jenny, for Maddie Rochi. She was sensational. That's what you want in a point guard. The ability to score, create, and play defense, and she's doing all three absolutely well tonight. Not that time for Jackson. Wilson probing inside. Now to Ali Wilson. What next for the Spirit? Needs some movement. Frolling. Cutting to the low block. Corner three for Griffin. Rattles out. On the flip side, Bendigo yet to hit a three ball so far in this contest. Oh from five. Thornton, that's a charge. Smart stuff from Kelsey Griffin. So just the first personal on Kayla Thornton. Leading the way in the ball game with 19 points. And a half court heave to end the second that is sure to feature in your highlights. For round nine. 14-point ball game. Kelly Wilson with the rock. Froling at the perimeter. Nice pass. Wilson slicing to the hoop. Both buckets of this opening third quarter have come through the hand of Alex Wilson. Just nice little first action on the on the first side. Playing through the post a little bit and some beautiful cutting action off that. Rochi. Had space to fire, opted against it. Blitzarfs down low. Jackson stepping through. 12 points for Lauren Jackson. Griffin straight away into a transition triple. And not taking away from KG's ability to, to, to drain them because we know we've seen her do it throughout her entire career. But there's just some shots... Ali Wilson had one earlier on in this opening third quarter that just there could have been better options considering they get the stops on the defensive end just like they are now, but they haven't been able to capitalize and make Southside pay. Trying to chip away at that lead. Thornton causing all sorts of trouble and she gets the reward. Cheryl Chambers happy with her efforts. And again, I'd love to see Bendigo go at Sarah Blitzards, go at Lauren Jackson. They didn't do that in the first half when they had the three fouls. But they're still sitting on three fouls. They've only got two left in the game. And they haven't challenged them yet to own their position on the defensive end. Rochi. 
Jackson lands it straight back. Four assists in the first half for Matty Rocci. Three ball. Goes for Matty Rocci. Of course it does. Five of seven now. Well, whatever Sarah Blitzarves drank the other night before the win against Melbourne Boomers to give her 41. Matty Rocci is obviously drunk from the same cast. Huge night for her. Beautiful percentage too. Six of nine now on the night for the 19 points. Moves it back out to 17 points the margin. Wilson, that's off the foot of McKay. And that's a tough pass for a girl of Megan McKay's size to catch, especially on the bounce. 13 turnovers, another area Bendigo weren't great at in the opening half. And in round seven, when they met, they also had the 21 turnovers. Right now, Southside have just the 13 points off turnovers. Haven't hurt them too much in that category. Cole, long range two. Everything dropping to Southside. Cole finding her first points of the night. She was left scoreless in that big win against Melbourne Boomers. But again, they're showing their strength at any point in time. Their 10 can step up and score. Thornton picks it off. Ahead to Jackson. She'll wait for reinforcements. Flies in no rush. Cole steps back again for three. Thornton crashing in late. And that's a foul call. Just the two-day break for this Southside Flyers team. And it doesn't get oh, it doesn't get any easier, I was gonna say, for the Bendigo Spirit. I cut you off there, Liam. They've got a big game on Sunday after this one uh, coming up against the second place Melbourne Boomers as well. It's going to be a massive contest, 2 p.m. at Red Energy Arena. Time out on the floor. Flyers have extended this lead to 19 points. And this timeout is brought to you by DIY Blinds. As summer heats up around Australia, make sure you've got some Australian-made designer quality window furnishings at the best prices. Head to diyblinds.com.au to order your free samples today. And they secured the Michelle's Teams Cup two days ago, Jenny did the Southside Flyers and now with a victory today they could secure the season series over the Bendigo Spirit which of course we're talking tiebreakers the top three looks like it's going to be tight that's a huge advantage to have for the Flyers absolutely in terms of where they sit on the ladder and potentially jumping into getting a home final but it also is important from a mental perspective when you're heading into finals knowing that you've beaten a team on consecutive occasion only gives you more and more confidence. Now we know the caliber and the experience of Bendigo Spirit will eventually shine through. But right now, if you had to pick a championship winning team, it's the Southside Flyers. I, the way they're playing at the moment at both ends of the floor, I don't see any other team being able to match it with them in the way that they're playing. It's absolutely sensational to watch. Last month or so especially has been electric. And to add Amy Rochi as well, hopefully in the coming weeks, it's a luxury. Ali Wilson pulls up. Long range two. No good off the backboard. Litzarfs hands it to Rochi. Got the momentum. The Flyers. Jackson in the painted area. Blitzarfs. Thornton moves it forward quickly. They come to triple Jackson. Won't matter. She's headed to the line. And that's just smart from Kayla Thornton. They were trying to get the ball into Jackson from Blitzarves. Thornton flashed high to the elbow. And just to get a better angle and get that nice lob pass to the advantage of height from Lauren Jackson. And that's the difference offensively for both teams. Southside Flyers are getting the ball through hands. They're, they're playing the chess match. They're finding where the advantage is. Bendigo Spirit, they're shooting a lot of the percentage of their shots in the first eight to se ten seconds of the shot clock, which means the Southside Flyers don't really have to work defensively. Jackson takes care of business from the line. And they continue their flawless run at the free throw line today. Where are Good defense from Jackson. Maley diving on it, showing the hustle. Needs some assistance, though, and Blitzarf sees it off. Cole's got plenty of Bendigo defenders ahead of it. And they'll reset. Rochi around McKay. This time the long range, too. Put that one on the highlight reel. That was just cheeky there from Maddie Rochi. Because she's been shooting well from all outside, she just hesitated a little bit. She brought that left hand in to look like she was shooting it. Nice little inside-outside. Got the Bendigo Spirit defense up and just put it to the floor and found that mid-range J. Having herself some season as 
the starting point guard for this Southside team, Matty Rocci. Coming into her home, her own. Now back home in Melbourne. Here's Werung. Rocci showing that dogged defence and forces the turnover. Cole has Wilson ahead of her. And again, they'll head to the three throw line. So just really no resistance at the moment to this south side onslaught. No, they're relentless on the defensive end. They're up and in. It's, it's led from the front, like I spoke about off the top from Maddie Rocci. And then you've got Beck Cole, 3x3 Australian player who knows how to play gritty and up and in as well. And then she just follows suit and the lead of Maddie Rocci. They're just dominating. They had seven steals at half time. That's their eighth on the game. They average nine on the season. They're just relentless at the moment. They're just pushing the spirit like they did two rounds ago out of everything on the offensive end. And they have no answers right now. And you look at the personnel that they possess outside. Beck Cole, Kayla Thornton, Rochi, Monconti, all players that like to play that, you know, up and in your face defense. No surprises they're one of the lead leaders in steals per game. Absolutely. Sometimes that runs the risk because you're always gambling, but they're gambling well at the moment. Um, but they can do that because their half-court D is actually really, really solid. Um, and that's what is allowing them the opportunities to be able to steal. Whereas before, they weren't really great in the half-court defense in seasons, seasons past, but they always went for the steals, which created the offense And they weren't when they weren't coming up with those steals. But credit to them. They've found their mojo on the defensive end, and it's making it rain on the offensive end and it's just enjoyable as you can see Lauren Jackson there doing the Macarena if you don't mind or the Macarena whatever what I can't even remember it's the Macarena isn't it I think you're onto it yes hey, Macarena. Mac I don't know mate whatever it, is, it has been smile so far for Southside this home crowd loving what they're seeing at the moment 23 point ball game Cole good on the first Bendigo manages the four points so far this period Of course, they're still awaiting the return of Tessa Levy, the spirit. As Cole takes care of business. Where are now Griffin? Southside searching for another steal. Mailey down low. Megan McKay, nice pass on the reverse. Travel. And when you think the Southside flies are just going to let up when they've almost got a 20. Five plus lead. Though they don't, they come out of that timeout. They play a full court press to play a delay game, force another turnover. In fact, the 17th turnover of the game for the Bendigo Spirit, and have the ball back in their hands. Rochi thought about the triple. Cole, nice pass. Alley oop to Thornton. Athleticism personified right there through Kayla Thornton. Another one for the highlight reel for the Southside Flyers. Beautiful pass from Cole. He's got 21. And plenty of smiles as well. We're on. Bendigo just need an answer. Down low. McKay finds Griffin. One more at the line to come for Kelsey Griffin. Much needed bucket for the Bendigo Spirit. Only their sixth point of the quarter. And we've had seen just a touch over six minutes as well. Southside Flyers with the 17 on the quarter. Scoring isn't the issue. I mean, it may look like it. But 74 points with just a touch over three and a half minutes to go in the third is the issue for the Bendigo Spirit. Can't find an answer right now. And when you're shooting, shooting 11 of 17 from the three-point line, it's always going to be tough. But you've got to try something, whether it's full court D, running them off the three-point line, a zone perhaps, I don't know. But you might as well give it a try. The Flyers doing this against the team, which... Allows the least points per game in the league. Thornton. Three ball no good. Cole out of nowhere. The fresh 14 for Southside. And you'll see the referees here just having a chat because great job by Bendigo. They actually went to a 2-3 zone there. Kelly Thornton hit the three, but I'm not sure it hit the ring. And there's only one or two seconds left on the shot clock, if I remember correctly. But they reset the shot clock to 14 seconds. So it'll be interesting to see how many seconds will be left as they readjust here or not nope they are so five seconds left on the shot clock for the south side flies here blitzarves to begin proceedings to 
try and extend the lead for the home side. Rochi. Werung right up and deep. Goes against Rochi. Ooh. So that's her fourth. Interesting to see if she takes a break. Well, it seems as though she will. I'd love to see that one on the replay. I'm not sure in what rule book that is an offensive foul. But uh, unfortunate to see Maddie Rochi take a seat. She's been absolutely superb and a massive reason why Southside Flyers see themselves with a 20 point, 24 point lead rather. We're on. Fighting hard inside the keyway. Chance for two more for Bendigo. And now Lauren Jackson also will most likely find herself to the bench with her fourth foul. 14 points in the ball game. Lauren Jackson, five of eight. In a game where so many of her other teammates have starred. She's done her bit. We're on at the line. Makes on the first. To bring her tally to eight points for Abby Werung. She's had some good punch off the bench in a team that's been lacking on the offensive end. She's had some great penetration down the guts. We love, she loves to put the ball on the floor. She can hit the corner three as well. She just needs some of her starters to join her. Griffin's been kept quiet. She's just got the seven points. Wilson, she's got the eight. But Alicia Froling, four, and Ali Wilson, five as well. Love to see them step up in the last few minutes of this quarter. Potch. Now Cole down low to Jackson. Working on McKay in the low post. Conti fakes a pass. Good defense. Thornton though. Second chance for Southside. And the travel call from the referee. Some interesting calls right now. Liam, I'd be a little bit frustrated if I was the Southside Flyers. I'm not sure what feet were moving there apart from Alicia Froling's, but the Bendigo Spirit player or fan, you'll take whatever you can get right now. Thornton pleading her case. And I'd be pleading it too because on the replay there, unless I need glasses, I didn't see anything. But now we see Abby Werung to the foul line, which must have meant that someone's got a tech foul, whether it's a bench, a player. I'm not sure. So Kayla Thornton will shake it off. 21 point ball game. Wilson. Froling's there with the screen. Hand off, Ali Wilson. Straight away heave, it goes. So that's the lucky break for Bendigo. Wilson with the crisp shot. Back to 18. Cole in the corner. Thornton, Bendigo bench. Still getting involved. That's a deep three from Beck Cole. And that hurts because you just felt like momentum was starting to shift to the Bendigo spirit. They've been sitting in that 2-3 zone a little bit. And that's a gamble from the three-point line when you do go to a zone. Beck Cole hasn't been shooting well for a couple of weeks now. Two of seven on the night, but that's a timely three from her. Thornton and McKay hit the deck hard. I've had all the answers south side. Cole, back-to-back -back triples, won't go. Wilson sees it out of trouble. We're on. Probing, and McKay got tangled up. Foul call on her. And they can't catch a break, the Spirit. Indeed, they can't. They stayed well with them in the first quarter and opening. They had chances in the second, weren't able to capitalize. They got it within six with just a touch over four minutes to go. And then it went on a 13 to four run in favor of the Southside Flyers. And since the halftime break, not much has changed for Coach Kennedy Kerryama and his Bendigo Spirit girls. Southside Flyers continue to drain it from the land of plenty. Conti. Backs it out. She'll set the play for Southside. Cole in the corner. Thornton with a pick. Pulls up. Beck Cole up to nine. 
Doesn't matter at the moment what Bendigo do, whether it's a man or a zone, just in that instance there, they're in zone. Southside Flyers are just having their way. Nadia Potch, nice D. Jax Bishop just keeps it in to Thornton. She'll pull it up. Bishop recovers. She's got position. Has Werung on her. Out to Potch for three. Southside another. Potch with a triple. 26 points the margin. And the State Basketball Centre has erupted. Their side putting on a clinic. Offensive foul. Conti draws it. Well, since the new year, or 2023, I don't know if these girls have had a meeting, had a chat, or just enjoying, well, they are definitely enjoying the way they're playing with the display of basketball they're putting on show in the Signet WNBL, but I, right now, in this moment, do not know who else in this league can go with them. Bishop finds Thornton. Out to Cole. Moving in at will, pulls up for two. There's the stop. Thornton poked at it. Shot clock's off. Thornton, though, with a steal. Two on one situation. And Cole converts. And just like that, Cole goes from zero points in the first half to now have 11 in this third quarter. Wilson with a heave, no good. Thornton did not appreciate the attention. Her teammates will assist in sorting this out. Her team, though, absolutely flying. The Southside flies 84 to 56 at the end of three. Here it is again from Alicia Froling. Well, I'd be walking away if I was Alicia Froling really quickly. Thornton is one girl. As you can see, Cheryl Chambers is telling her, have a breather. She needs a breather. She's walking away because. She's a bit hot-headed right now and probably doesn't want to do something that she regrets considering she's had such a stellar performance. But Alicia Froling, just probably a little bit frustrated with that former turnover that Thornton created and led to that final bucket in that third term. But all highlights go to the Southside Flyers in that one. 25 to 13 in the third quarter. If it wasn't Maddie Rochi doing the damage, it was Rebecca Cole. She finished with 11. And for the Bendigo Spirit, Maley left scoreless with the 14. Griffin again scoreless. It's just been hard work, but all the credit must go to the Southside Flyers. They've been absolutely sensational in. They have 21 points apiece for Kayla Thornton and Matty Rochi. 13 of 21 from long range. Sees them with this dominant position. And for the Bendigo Spirit, just the six field goal attempts today for Kelsey Griffin just haven't been able to find her, have they, Jenny? No, they haven't, but that's because of the Southside Flyers defence. They've just been able to take them out of everything. Um, Bendigo have been a bit hot to shoot really quickly in the offences. They haven't made Southside Flyers work a lot and shot towards the end of the shot clock. But have a look at the score in terms of shots taken. 30 from 56 to 18 to 39. I'm not a mathematician. I can't do that quick enough, but that's a lot more shots than the Bendigo Spirit, if you will. And then that's 62% from the three-point line. 39 they are, sorry, 38 they are on the season, sitting second from the three-point line. But then their last two games, 57% against the Melbourne Boomers on the Wednesday night and just getting better, 62 tonight to end out the third. And with a differential in field goal attempts, rebounding so even, offensive rebounding pretty even as well, 6-8. With the turnover column, Jenny, 21 to Bendigo through three quarters. Well, 21 they had in round seven against the Southside Flyers. And uh, it's obviously the same kind of story tonight with a quarter to go. The nice thing for the Southside Flyers as well, apart from the defense, is they've also held Bendigo Spirit to the six offensive rebounds. They average 10 on the season per game. And that's great considering we know how relentless they can be on the boards through the likes of reigning MVP Annalie Maley. Um, and there's been a lot of opportunity considering they're shooting just the one of nine from the three-point line. But lots to, lots to think about at this third quarter to break for the Bendigo Spirit. They've got to think of options, compartmentalise the three quarters, walk away and hopefully win this last quarter of WNBL. Really, it has been remarkable just how similar the script has been from the last time those, these two teams met. But Southside, though, they have given... Really a good home crowd today. Great atmosphere. They've given them a lot to cheer about so far. We had the Thornton heave at the end of the half that went in. That was absolutely awesome. Smiles from Jackson. Thornton's fired up. She's got three steals in the ball game. Perhaps a little bit hot-headed at the end, but gee, what a ball game she's played so far. Oh, she's been sensational, and she's... Uh 
continuing on her performance against the Melbourne Boomers from the other night uh, as well. She just needed a breather. I think Cheryl Chambers had to walk her off and the assistant coaches, Karen Mitchell, um, had to just probably take the time out there or the three-quarter break just to rally the troops. But Thorne seems like she's OK. She probably doesn't need to play the rest of the game, although she probably wants to, but I'd be careful if she's a little bit hot-headed. Um, Bendigo have got nothing to lose now. Right now it's... 0-0 zero, zero on the score. As we can see, Thornton, she's back in the game. Poch is going, it's all right, girl. We're up. No need. The scoreboard is doing all the talking for us. But it'll be interesting to see what happens. Everyone watching at home, for those that missed it, there was just a, a little a little tiff, shall we, between Froling and Thornton. As you can see, the ref go, are you okay? And she goes, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. She's going to get foul shots here because I think Froling would have been given an unsportsmanlike or a tech foul for that, uh, that foul at the end of that third quarter. It appears so. So Thornton at the line. First goes. So to add to this south side lead before any seconds have ticked off this fourth period. Thornton professionally goes two from two. And that's definitely an unsportsmanlike two foul shots, and now they'll also get possession. So that just continues the bleeding for the Bendigo Spirit. Nothing going their way offensively or defensively. Cole to start proceedings on the fourth quarter. Conti. Poch. Bench unit out there for Southside. Bishop. Cole moving it quickly. Poch for free. Second three ball, in fact, make it three three balls for Nadia Poch. Mailey to the rack, and another offensive foul against Bendigo. 33 points the margin. I've almost lost for words, but Southside Flyers, we can say, oh, they're just having a night out from the three-point line, 13 to 21, 61%. As we see, Nadia draws one from down, drains one from deep down the other end. And I'm not sure where the offensive foul was there, but Southside Flyers will take it. But they might be having a night out from the three-point line. But the stats will tell you they obviously can do it. And the way they're doing it is through great ball movement, great player movement, and taking the right shots at the right time in the contest. Cole draws the foul. This time on Wilson. And right now you can see the refs are starting to be whistle-happy at the moment because of obviously the heat in the game and the intensity going up at the end of the third between Froling and Thornton. They just want to control the tempo, make sure there is no untoward or increased physicality in the opening couple of minutes of this fourth. Here's Jackson. Griffin with the steal. She's got the rock. Opts to slow it up. Down low. McKay. Gets it back. Second possession. Bendigo. Griffin. Bishop. Offensive foul. Yet another. Abby Bishop draws it. So Kayla Thornton, leading scorer in the ball game, 23. She'll start the fourth on the bench. We may not see her again as well this evening with the scoreline the way it is. Plenty of time remaining here at the State Basketball Centre. The Friday Night Hoops, Conti, Poch. Again for three. Again it goes. Perfect from the beyond the arc today is Nadia Poch. Well, I'm not sure what the breakdown or the communication was in that 2-3 zone, but they tried to trap the wing pass, or maybe they were trying to push off it on the reversal, though. That just left Poch wide open for the three. Griffin to the line. Number one defense in the league coming into the round, uh, the Bendigo Spirit. But this side has been their Achilles heel so far this season. Gave up 96 the last two last time these two teams met. Now well on their way to 100 today. The south side flies. Carly Ernst checks into the ball game. As Griffin makes on the first. Lit in the league in three-point percentage, Carly Ernst. 56%. 10, ten, ten attempts or more. Well, she's living up to what it would be on the scout for her. She can drain the three. She's a pick-and-pop type of player. Beautiful length. 
beautiful height, sitting around six foot four, and just plays her role exceptionally well. Limited minutes, but that's all that's needed right now when there's so much contribution from the Southside Flyers. Ernst trying to post up on Griffin. Cole. Here is Carly Ernst. On cue. And it goes. Carly Ernst with the triple. No surprises there. Wilson crossing to Ali Wilson. Hit a three from that spot earlier. McKay and spiked out from Abby Bishop who thought it was last touch Bendigo. And those two passages of play are the difference for me in this game is down the other end, ball movement, player movement, getting the ball to great shots, whereas Bendigo spirit and obviously things aren't working, but their ball movement, player movement and their shot selection has been really poor in the second half. We're on into Maley. Poch defending. Inside the lane, hook shot goes. Maley, the sole spirit player in double figures today, was 16. She's battled hard. She's done and continues to do all she can for her team. And regardless of the scoreline right now, they still have a lot to play for in this last eight minutes. They've got Melbourne Boomers on Sunday who would be watching this game, picking it apart, learning a lot from Southside Flyers and the way that they're playing them defensively. Because no doubt they're probably going to play the same way when they meet at Red Energy Arena in Bendigo on Sunday. What a round nine it has been for both of these teams. Place both of the other Victorian powerhouses in the top three. And the Flyers have come out looking very, very good. It's a foul call on Poch. Frolling draws it. Matty Rochi with four and Lauren Jackson as well. Fouled out of the ball game with five. Here's Micah Simpson. Conti picks her pocket. Waltzes in. Mon Conti. Easy two. How good is that? 12th steal of the game. The 24th turnover on the other end for the Bendigo Spirit as we see Maley driving hard to the rim. Just can't find the two points though. How good is that for Cheryl Chambers? She can go to the bench and put the AFLW MVP on the court as a backup point guard behind Maddie Rochi. And she can come out and do things like that for the Southside Flyers. Conti, now she'll turn and fire. Deep triple. Liam. It's a C out there for the Southside Flyers. They can not miss. 16, 17 of 25 on the night. Into triple figures with six and a half remaining on the clock. So Maley draws the foul. That'll be on Poch. And could be on their way to the highest scoring ball game of the season. The Southside Flyers. Spirit put up 105 on opening night, and it was 106. Melbourne Boomers in that OT win over the Adelaide Lightning. The highest score this season. Well, it'll be safe to say, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to score six points in the next six minutes. You would think so. Mainly missing. Margin remains at 39. Conti at the logo. And a good shift once again off the pine today. Frolling hits the deck, no call. Ernst turns and fires, <laughs> drops it. If you don't mind, Carly Ernst joining the party as well. We're on. And that rattles out, summing up the ball game. Southsider 18 of 26 from three. I'd love to see that one on the replay. Carly Ernst. Rips through. Alicia Froling's up and in. I think that made a little bit of contact. I'm not sure, but the referees let it go. Player down. Hands down. Carly Ernst, three. Carly Ernst has got eight points in five and a half minutes. Conti. Everything going south side's way. What a powerful display this evening. Here's Pinot. In the first minutes, we'll leave the turnover to McLean. Rochi back into the ball game. Fighting hard, Froling denies. 
Fighting hard to the finish. Ernst didn't appreciate it. Flying the flag at the moment. Here's Alicia Frolling. Well, Frolling trying her hardest. Does a block, but I wouldn't be celebrating blocking someone that's half the size of me in Alicia Frolling there. Carly Ernst just supporting her teammates. But good to see Alicia Froling not taking a backward step, and you've got to continue to fight. You've got to continue to, excuse the pun, have the spirit and show the fighting spirit. Absolutely. So Southside ball. Blitz arms as well. He's back into the ball game. Into Ernst. Got to fire. Into shot clock. Pinot. Nice. From the ref. nice to see Georgia Pinot getting herself on the stat sheet with that offensive rebound. The 10th for the game for the Southside Flyers. Just been injected into the game. Sees limited me minutes this season. But uh, it must be a Pinot trait. Her brother does it very well in the NBL. Crushes the O'Glass. Following suit like her brother. So Annalie Maley checks out for the evening. Matty Rocci as well. And that's the thing that the coach Kennedy and his staff have to think about. They've got a game in two days. They've got to recollect. The writing's on the wall with this one. You've got to sit your stars, make sure that they're not too fatigued when they face the Boomers on Sunday. Litzarves trying to get it down low. McLean picked it off. Hollinsworth with her first minutes is trailing. We're on with the three. And that's just the second triple that's dropped for Bendigo. She's been a shining light along with Maley off the bench for the Bendigo Spirit. 12 points on the night. Wouldn't say a great shooting clip, but has contributed in many ways for the Bendigo Spirit tonight. Conti at the three throw line. 10 points, three steals. Southside still perfect from the charity stripe this evening until that moment. Conti splits a pair. Now one field goal away from tying the season high in the Signet WNBL. Simpson. Five minutes remaining in this last quarter. Conti with the defense. Ernst gets the loose ball. Ernst again. Thought about the triple, rolling, closing out, driving. And the offensive foul on Ernst. So they'll walk down the play defense, the Flyers. It's going to be a long four and a half minutes. Both teams are in the bonus. And that just shows the level of physicality from both teams, regardless of the scoreline at the moment. No love lost between these two. It's a great rivalry. We saw it on Wednesday night between the two Melbourne teams. And Bendigo getting in on the action as well. Simpson, six seconds, floater, back iron, McLean. Extra possession. Here's Ruby Porter. Froling, driving on Ernst. And Conti rips it out of her arms. Hollingsworth. In transition, Pinot from the baseline. 42-point ball game. Southside showing their power at the moment. Abby Werung drives on Pinot. There's an easy bucket for Bendigo. Werung now up to 14 off the bench. Blitzarves. 41 points on Wednesday night. Hasn't had to provide the same level of output as Conti lets it fly. This is unbelievable, Jenny Screen. When you code this game and you break down, you give the, the mini game, if you will, and you, you'll find it on the WNBL website. So we can see Conti doing Conti things, coming up with another steal and a fast break. If you don't mind. What you'll see on the highlight reel is three after three after three. 18 of 26. Yes, that is not a typo to anyone listening at home. 18 of 26, 69% on the night. 
just unstoppable, Liam. I lost words. And that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> 15 steals as well in the game. Here's one of them here, Conti. Her fifth or oh, sixth one of the night. Fenomeni Conti. They've been a pleasure to watch tonight. She's been awesome off the bench. 18 minutes of action, six steals in that time, Jenny. 14 points. Frolings at the line. And the Flyers now do indeed own that higher score of WNBL 23. And a chance to add to it. Three minutes remaining. Poch as McLean hit the floor. Offensive foul. Good job by McLean there to put a body on the line. The Nova Castrian from Newcastle. Played a few years now with the Bendigo Spirit. Read the offense there, Nadia Poch, really well. But when you made the mention, Flyers had just hit the 100, the century point, and that was only two minutes ago. And in that two minutes, they've scored 11 points. That's been electric. McKay at the perimeter, hand off Porter. They go under the screen, she makes him pay. Porter with the triple. First shot, first bucket for her on the evening. The second unit for the Bendigo Spirit playing with nothing to lose. They're doing a pretty good job. Their, their movement on the offensive end, they've been a bit more tidy defensively. Oh, my goodness. I'm just going to shut up now. I don't know what you can do, Bendigo. I feel sorry for you right now. There is nothing, nothing you can do. You could play the best defense in the world, and I'm pretty sure tonight the Southside Flyers would just find the bottom of the net regardless. Pomo with the denial. Everything that leaves their hands is going in at the moment. Triple number 20. Carly Ernst has got 11. Conti, she'll fire from three. Finally a miss. Hollandsworth crashes the glass. And the Flyers again. And that's Holly Griffith's first point as a WNBL player. Signed with the Southside Flyers this year. Going to college this year as well. A development player for the Southside. And nice to see her get her first bucket. Great moment for her. 90 seconds remaining. Southside, a chance to make it potentially a 50 point victory. And a matchup between two of the title contenders. Ernst finds Pinot in the corner. Not that time. Moving it quickly. McLean, nice time. Easy bucket. So they'll play again in two days, Bendigo. Southside complete the round. A victory over Melbourne, a victory over Bendigo. Really couldn't have gone much better. As Hollandsworth for two. Oh, my goodness. If that had one had it dropped, every player by, oh, by one would have hit the score sheet. And the one that hasn't scored, Sarah Blitzarps. My goodness. Can we just take a moment there? She had 41 on Wednesday night. Hasn't hit a bucket tonight. But it doesn't really matter when you've got one, two, three seven players in double figures. Who would have thought? I mean, she's taken the four field goals. She was out early with foul trouble. But as you mentioned, just so many contributors from elsewhere. And Lana Hollingsworth is going to find herself to the line and probably going to join the party as well and get her, her first couple of points. She played college both in Boston and Santa Clara. Basketball Victoria Pathway Junior as well. Played on the world stage in the three-on-three -three at a World Cup. NBL, NBL one. She played in 22 with Eltham. She's strong. She's robust. A little bit of everything. Quite an athlete. Can run the floor really well. She takes care of business from the line there. Fans are on their feet here at the State Basketball Centre. Another steal. Conti moves it forward. The shot clock's off. And they have seen probably the performance of their season from their beloved Southside Flyers. What a display, flexing their muscle, announcing themselves that they haven't already to the Signet WNBL. It's the Flyers by 46 points here on your Friday Night Hoops. Unbelievable, Jenny Screen. That gives me goosebumps. There's not enough time to talk about everything that the Southside Flyers did right. Seven players in double figures. Everyone, bar one, hit the score sheet. But 
it was their defense. And if I'm Cheryl, Bl Cheryl, Blitz up, Cheryl Chambers and the coaching staff of the Southside Flyers, I am happy with the way my team is playing defense. For Bendigo Spirit and Coach Kennedy Kerry Armour, his staff, they've got one more game in this round. There's a lot they can learn from this. Yes, it was an embarrassing loss, but they're a better team than this scoreline. Not many nights are you going to face a team that shoots at 56% from the field, 67% from the three-point line, and then go 16 of 17, 94% from the three uh, from the from the three throw line. That is rarely going to happen in a game. But for me, Liam, that's probably one of the best games I have witnessed from a team individually in the history of the WNBL. It was an amazingly clinical game from the Flyers. Looking down the score sheet, Conti had three threes. Potch four, Ernst was three from three, Muddy Rochi. I mean, she was probably the player of the first half almost, five of seven, 21 points. Well, her and Thornton, they led the way and they only played 23 and 26 minutes respectively. No one hit over 30 minutes for the Southside Flyers. And when they play like that, all 12 of their players, they are unbeatable. Right now, hands down, I was a Melbourne Boomers fan. I thought they were going to potentially come away with the championship and go back to back. But right now, the Southside Flyers have got me eating my words. They are a menace, a menace, Liam, to any team they face. And if they continue to play <laughs> the way that they're playing, as we see Carly Ernst making it hurt even more for Alicia falling on that play, then I am really wondering if they continue the way that they are right now and the way they have been in their last two games against the top two teams in the competition. I don't think anyone can match it with them. They look pretty close to unbeatable at the moment on the current form line. Still sitting in third position behind the Boomers and the Spirit. Bendigo, a chance to make amends on Sunday. The vision on your screen right now, the performance from Southside, just something else. And yes, I know it was a blowout, but if you said coming into this game it would be 25 bench points for Bendigo, you'd be feeling pretty good about their chances, bested though by 49 bench points from Southside. <laughs> exactly, but that's where Southsiders have made the difference throughout the season thus far. Their bench productivity is astronomical, and that is the difference, I think, between them winning the championship compared to other teams. Other teams like Melbourne Boomers, their whole starting lineup has to dominate if they're going to win, whereas Southside Flyers, one person like Sarah Blitzarves can have an off night, someone else is going to step up, but we've still got a round, Liam. Three games to go. Saturday double header as well. The Capitals will host the Townsville Fire, trying to bounce back from that loss against Adelaide. And then it's Perth and Sydney. Perth are hovering around the top four. They're not out of it. No, they aren't. And when you look at the ladder and that last position that they're fighting for with Townsville, it's going to be tough. Townsville had a big loss against Adelaide in Adelaide the other night. They got a pretty easy run home, though, with the teams they're facing. But don't underestimate Sammy Whitcomb um, and Lauren Scherf's Perth over in the West. They just are coming and they can creep up very, very quickly. And then Bendigo, it's a chance to make amends. They face Melbourne. It's going to be fascinating viewing, really. Oh, everyone should tune in to the Signet WNBL on Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Daylight Savings Time, rather. It is going to be manic. And if you're in Bendigo and you're a Bendigo fan, you better be down there and support your team because they're going to need everything when they're coming up against the Melbourne Boomers who just got embarrassed on their home court by the team that embarrassed.